give an old cave, and I'm excited to show you how to listen better to my lungs as a person of the hearing loss. I'll work with you on how to improve your ability to listen to others and to make sure you're understood. As you may have already figured out, I'm deaf. I don't want you to think I have the world's worst Arnold Schwarzenegger impression ever. Now, this is a first in a series of episodes where I'm going to dive into different topics and how to listen better. My methods are based on leading research, based on years of professional and personal experience. Today, I'm going to tell you what it's like to be deaf and give you a few tips on how to listen. Have you noticed that poor listening causes all kinds of problems? It gets in the way of us all getting along. It creates conflict. It stops us from being inclusive. When you are a great listener, great things happen for you, both personally and in the workplace. You will be able to connect with others better. Your influence will increase. Your ability to lead others will improve. Your team will improve better, all because you listen better. You will have better sales, better business relationships. And at home, you will get a lot, along a lot better with your spouse or with your friends and your kids or your parents. It's, it's one of the most important skills that we can have. Now let's talk about the elephant in this room. You're thinking, why is a deaf person talking to you about listening? Isn't that like a blind person telling you how to do interior decoration? Or Donald Trump giving you hair care tips? It's weird. But You'd be surprised at what you learn. I'm also surprised at how little people know about listening. I promise you will learn a lot and you will benefit so much. Now, listening is my superpower. I've recently run a national manufacturing business which supplied Fortune 500 companies to practice law to perform stand-up comedy and national television. We think it'd be impossible for a deaf person to tell you how to listen, because being deaf can be darn hard. And I'll tell you what it's like to be deaf. You can't hear a freaking thing! I've had to work hard to really listen well, being deaf, as being deaf has its challenges. To put this in perspective, if I'm not wearing my hearing aid, you could scream at me like the top of your lungs and I won't hear you. But I could also be ignoring you on purpose. I'm just about as deaf as it got, and not a disability hearing loss. I can hear sounds, but it's hard, hard for me to pick them up. It'd be lucky listening to somebody speaking ancient Sanskrit. We can hear something, but we have no idea what it is. Or if we wear glasses and you take them off, everything becomes kind of blurry. Growing up deaf wasn't super easy. I'm so lucky to be able to speak. The doctors told my parents I would never be able to speak. Guess the doctors were wrong. I can speak. Only problem is nobody can understand me. Unless they're drunk. 
พี่ไปกันอ่านตัวสตาร์มีเปิดนะคะเรื่องที่ Twinks I do some stand up comedy and the night club and I was kid if I saw my kid fix peel an actor if I too much to drink and it's time for you to get a definite driver sad things I speak better when I drink my speech therapist told me to drink when I do public speaking It loosens up my trial, tongue, and f o c a l cord. Next month, I have my inhibitions. Thousands of dollars of speech therapy, and I had to drink a six pack of c o r s My parents found out I was deaf because I put my thumb in an electric outlet. I didn't hear them scream at me to stop. So to say, they did not, not only did they find that I was deaf, but I was dumb. I got my first hearing aid when I was 18 months old. They consisted of two boxes strapped to my chest with wires going into my ears. Yes, I look like a suicide farmer in training pants. I hated the only way they could tell how loud to make my hearing aids was how much I cried. I would hate them so much that I would flush them down the toilet. Back then, I was determined and stubborn, as h e c k to fit in with my peers. However, lip reading is not a foolproof system, and I got screwed over so many times with numerous misunderstandings. And lip reading is in fact going to help me with phone calls, obviously. When I was a teenager, girls would call me up and ask me out on dates, and my mother would have to help me with phone calls because I was deaf. How embarrassing is that? And then she would give me hand signals or color commentary on how well the car was going. There you go. I think she's in. She's in trusted. Oh no, she's not in trusted. Anyhow, lip reading is not easy. To learn to lip read, I do wax my wonderful father. Repeat the same words over and over again for hours. He kept saying to me, "Stop staring at me! Stop staring at me!" And some people it was really, really hard to lip read. That Santa Claus guy, not m e for a deaf person. And other people he has false teeth, but don't wear them. For instance, my father and I would not wear false teeth. It was like lip reading a duck. Got me a beer, idiot. The thing is, I can understand everything he said. Learning to lip read, and being able to have somewhat comprehensible speech, is one heck of a battle to the death. I continue to fight to this day. A lot of the words look the same when you read lips, like bad, mad, bad, pat. I have exactly the same lip movement. Look at this. Bad, 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 Lip reading is like doing the jigsaw puzzle from hell, trying to figure out the missing pieces. But instead of dwelling on not being able to hear, I focus on what I could do. But instead of dwelling on not being able to hear, I focus on what I could do. Using clues I could use to figure out the missing pieces. Clues without body language. 
sing select blossom, such can tax as a can to season. At that age, I was already, already realizing that hearing was just the word was a small part of the communication puzzle. You ready for a pop quiz? What am I saying? One more chance. What did you think it was? Did you think it was I love you? A lot of people think it is, but Roy's not. It's elephant food. Listening requires a lot of concentration, and I can get tired easily trying to put this all together. For you, it goes in one ear and not the other. For me, it goes in one eye and not the other. There's even a term for this. It's called listening fatigue, where listeners with hearing loss must use more brain power concentration to listen than the listeners without hearing loss. Now, True listening takes effort, and I'm already making you sweat and exercise your listening power in trying to understand me. Like in order to build your muscles, you have to lift weights and it's hard, so it might be harder for you to understand me, but right now I'm building a listening muscle. So stick with it, believe me, it's worth your while. So I'm all about optimizing all of the weapons in my arsenal to make it easier to understand others. I'm looking forward to sharing them with you. But seriously, listening well is really important to me. All my life I felt left out or excluded, so I had to work extra hard to listen well. I've been at the table with people all talking I don't know what's going on, and they say, it's not important. As Helen Keller, who was born bland and deaf, said, deafness is worse than blandness, because it affects your ability to connect with others. You've probably been around people who don't listen. Take a pause and really think about the term, that this has happened to you. How do you make you feel? Not respected. Ignored that people don't care about how you feel. Make you less motivated to cooperate with that other person. And how does it feel for you when people listen to you? Feels great, doesn't it? When someone really listens to you, you feel included. You don't feel left out. Think about this. Maybe you think you're a great listener. I have bad news for you. you. You probably not. As a Harvard Business Review article states, people overestimate their ability to listen a lot. Just like most people overestimate their ability to drive, they, most people think they're better than the average driver. So you probably don't listen to others as well as you could. If you have time to think about it, to self-reflect. My website, stephenokeef.net, has tools for the self-assessments that will help you. When you start to self-reflect and how you felt it when you wouldn't listen to. That will only help you become a better listener. Now, listening is a fundamental skill for your relationship with your family, with your friend, with your co worker, with the world in general. And on a much global scale, Listening can cause all kinds of problems. I mean, poor listening, civil unrest, wolves.
I don't know why people who can hear hardly use their ears. So today I'm here to show you how to truly listen. Earlier I mentioned to you how deaf people can feel a lot and how to listen better. Here's why. As you can see, hearing the sound is only a small part of the listening. Listening is not just an auditory process. This listening with your eyes, which pays attention to your body language, facial expression, eye contact, then listening with your head, where you stay focused in the moment and away from biases, and then listening with your heart, which is listening with empathy, understanding the other person's perspective, putting yourself in their shoes, and then finally listening with your mouth, is responding to what is said and unsaid. It's a full of body experience. When you do this, listening will be your superpower. In the next episodes in the series, I will focus on all of the components and each one of them, so you can become a fantastic listener. My challenge, so, but before we get to that, my challenge for you today is to really think about the terms you wouldn't listen to, and how it made you feel, and what you can do to ensure it doesn't happen to others. My promise to you is that if you do what I said with you today, the universe will open up to you with so many possibilities. People will want to hear what you have to say so much that is deafening. If a deaf guy you are not supposed to speak can stand here and talk to you about communication, surely you think, if he can do this, so can I.